Right now we're going to look at some third equations. So what is a third equation? Well, we call it a third basically because of the square root symbol. And as we already know, equations contain an equal to sign. So when you have your square root symbol and your equal to sign, that's generally a third equation. The idea with third equations, you actually want to get rid of the square root. And how we do that generally is we square both sides. So that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to square both sides to get rid of the square root and simplify the equation. So I'll do a couple of examples for you. I'll start off here with the very first question. Simple enough question, just let's have a look. So the square root, of x plus 5 is equals to 4. So as I already said, we want to square both sides. So we're going to square the left-hand side and square the right-hand side. So just analyzing this x plus 5 here. So just analyzing this x plus 5 here. This x plus 5 has been square rooted and squared at the same time. So those two operations cancel each other out. So the squared and the square root are going to cancel each other out in this particular case. So what's my next line? My next line, I've got just simply x plus 5 is equals 2, and then 4 squared is 16. So just x is equal to 16 minus 5, x is equals to 11. So there's my solution, x is equals to 11. Now the thing is, with third equations, we should be checking our solutions because sometimes you can do everything as you're supposed to do and you actually get an answer that doesn't fit. So let's have a look here. We had the question, the square root of x plus five is equals to four and we have the solution, x is equals to 11. Let's just double check that. So the square root of 11 plus five, is that equals to four? The square root of 16, is that equals to four? Yes, four equals four. That is correct. So we know that x equals 11 is an allowable solution. Now, the questions are not always this simple. Let's look at a more difficult question here. So one that looks a slight bit more difficult. Let's take question seven here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take question seven here and we're going to remember to square both sides. So the square root of 2x plus 7 is equal to the square root of x plus 2. So remember the idea here is that you square both sides. So we're going to square the left hand side and square the right hand side. So with the left hand side, same as previously, the 2x plus 7 is being squared and square rooted at the same time. So those operations will cancel each other out. So from the left hand side, I simply have 2x plus 7. Now the right hand side is where we have to be careful. The most common mistake I see is this. You have to remember you're squaring both sides. So this would be incorrect just to say it like this, x plus 4, where you just square the x, sorry, where you square the root x and call it x, and where you square the 2 and call it 4. That's the most common mistake I see. All right. It's important to understand that this is incorrect. We are squaring both sides, not squaring each term. In this case, all I did was square each term, which as I've already described is a mistake. You're squaring both sides. So what I really need to be doing here is squaring the side. So root x plus two multiplied by itself. All right, so the left-hand side will stay the same, 2x plus 7. The right-hand side, then, I'm going to do my multiplication. First of all, root x by root x. We know that that's x. Then root x by 2. We have our 2 root x, and then 2 by root x is 2 root x, and then 2 by 2 is 4. So let's tie this up a little bit further. You've got 2x plus 7. So you've got x plus 4 root x plus 4. So we squared both sides to simplify the situation for ourselves, but we still have the square root term hanging around. All right, so we still have a square root term. So what we're actually going to do is square both sides again to get rid of this square root term. But before I do that, I'm going to isolate this term. I'm going to make sure this is the only term on this side of the equation. So I'm going to have all the other terms on the other side. So 2x minus x plus 7 minus 4 is equals to 4 root x. So that's going to be x plus 3 is equals to 4 root x. So x plus 3 is equals to 4 root x. So what am I going to do to continue here? Same as I did the last time, I am going to square both sides. So the idea is you're going to square the left hand side and the right hand side, squaring out the side fully. Let's bring this to the next page for ourselves. <clears throat> All 
Right, so continuing on. x plus 3 squared is equal to 4 root x squared. Embed this. So, squaring both sides. The left-hand side, it's very important you remember that we're squaring the entire side. So it's x plus 3 by x plus 3. On the right-hand side, we've got 4 root x to be squared. I just want to tidy that up a bit. 4 root x to be squared. So 4 squares to 16 and root x, root x will square to x. So x plus 3 by x plus 3 is equal to 16x. So multiplying and expanding out the left-hand side, you're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, and that's equal to 16x. Tidying this up a little bit further, x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 16x equals 0. So that's x squared minus 10x plus 9 equals 0. Solve the quadratic equation which is pretty straightforward for us at this stage. So x minus nine is equal to zero, and x minus one is equal to zero. x is equal to nine, and x is equal to one. The next thing we have to do, remember, is to check our solutions. We've got these two solutions, and we have to fill both of them back into the original equation to make sure that both are acceptable solutions. So that's what we're going to do. So our original equation was square root of 2x plus 7 equals root x plus 2, and we had our two solutions, x equals 9 and x equals 1. So the idea is we have to fill both of those in to make sure they both are acceptable. So the square root of 2 times 9 plus 7, does that equal root 9 plus 2? 2 9 is 18 plus 7 is 25, so you've got the square root of 25, is that equals to 3 plus 2? Is 5 equals to 5? Yes, it is. So that means x equals 9 is a good solution. Let's do the same when x equals 1. So the square root of 2 times 1 plus 7, is that equals to root 1 plus 2? Well, 2 1s are 2 and 7 is 9, so we have root 9. Is that equal to 1 plus 2? Is 3 equals to 3? Yes, it is. So we also can say that x equals 1 is an allowable solution. So that is third equations. The best thing for you to do now is Practice a couple of these guys and check your solutions and please subscribe for worked and more detailed solutions.